It's Daytime Ottawa on Rogers Television. My name is Dylan Black. They're from Alberta. They've got a brand new album called Along for the Ride. They're called Renegade Station. We'll have a chat with Luann and Kent after we hear their big song that's on uh, country music radio right now. It's called Who's Gonna Love Me Tonight on Daytime. Well, I hear you're good Already moved on And I guess I should But I still can't keep from holding on They say if you love it, let it go And if it comes back Then it's really meant to be But you ain't done that So I'm all alone And I gotta know Well, who's gonna love me tonight? turn out those lights who's gonna love me tonight well, these four walls feel like they're about to cave in but I ain't gonna call and give away the shape I mean they say the time is it all but it's been taking its time there's nothing keeps you back from the front of my mind so i'm suffering wonder if you're wondering who's gonna love me tonight who's gonna take me home who's gonna be by my side when i turn out those lights who's gonna love me The sun comes back around But when I sink back down I'll be asking What I'm asking here right now Well who's gonna love me tonight Who's gonna take me home Who's gonna be by my side When I turn out those lights Tonight Who's gonna love me Tonight Who's gonna love me Gonna love me Tonight Who's gonna love me Tonight All right, there you go. Renegade Station, indeed. What a song. And who's going to love me tonight? Let's have a quick chat with a couple of the members, Luann and Kent. Nice to have you here on the show. Hi, thank you well, so much for having us. Would you like to tell us the, the other two individuals that make up yes. Renegade Station, who they are? Absolutely. We have Russ Carl on guitar and Scott McKnight on drums. All right. Now, you guys have been... Um, well, you've been together for quite some time, Couple of years. but you're now rebranded. Okay, so Luann, yeah. tell us about the rebrand. Yeah, we we had a different name, and we totally it, it just outgrew it. It wasn't really working for us. It wasn't. Uh, it didn't define who we were, and we knew that for a long time. But it's hard to change your name. So mm -hmm. last year, we decided with the new album coming out, it was time, and we spent a lot of time talking about who we are and what what we wanted to put out. And this name is uh, who we are. We we think. We know, we know, we know, yeah. Like okay, Thank Kent, you. Uh, so it's the first album uh, as, as Renegade Station, okay. yes. But you put out five in total. Yes. Okay, more of an, an adventurous sound, this album? This one is, is definitely uh, more who we are. Um, mm -hmm. The other ones, we were, we were kind of trying to fit in with... Uh, with what we, what, with what was going to be expected from yeah, us, yeah, or what we thought we should sound <clears throat> like, and so this one we kind of threw the rule book out and just and give it our all. Yeah, does that feel good as an artist to just it throw feels the rules amazing. and just do do your own thing this time yes. around? Yes, yeah, it does. Okay, so you had some help because you had a pretty decent producer back in you as well. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Gasparic, who is just amazing. We're so blessed to have him in in Calgary, which is close to our hometown of Stettler, Alberta, and he's amazing. He's worked with some pretty incredible 
artists, country artists. Country artists. You know, the Road Hammers, Gord Bamford, just amazing. And uh, mm -hmm. so as well as Snoop Dogg. Yeah, like a wow. figure, right? Yeah. So. Is there any Snoop Dogg flair on the new Renegade Station? There's just, a, just, just, just that you. moment when I rap. Yeah, that one moment, that, yeah. Really, you always have to have a rap break. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right? For success. yeah. <laughs> okay, so now the new uh, song uh, we just heard, it's yes. Rising the Charts yeah. uh, in country music radio. So how does it feel when you're driving around and you turn on that radio and there it is? It never gets old. It yeah. doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't. No. It's, uh, and when we hear it across Canada, of course, we're from Western Canada, to hear it out in, in these parts, in these parts, boy, that sounded Albert. <laughs> oh, yeah. in these parts. Right? <laughs> Yeah, you're it's, not from uh, around here, are you? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> it's 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 awesome. It doesn't get old, and we're so happy to see it climbing the charts. That's so. cool. Yeah. Okay, so I need to read off your accolades as well. Group of the Year twice in Alberta, Fans' yes. Choice as well. You won that award, nominated for Songwriter of the Year in the past, Bass Player of the Year. So you guys have yeah, have quite the resume already. Yeah, we've been working real hard, and uh, it's it's paying off. So we're very fortunate, and we're very grateful for all the success yeah. we've had so far okay. and looking forward to more. Yeah, because you, you've got a busy summer ahead. We've got a really busy summer. Um, Calgary Stampede. It's a big um, highlight for us. It's a huge highlight yeah. and it's a, it's a busy time of year. Mm -hmm. is, is it something to be uh, from Alberta and, and to play the Calgary Stampede? Is Absolutely. That a bit of an oh yeah, that's Absolutely. a feather in your cap, <laughs> yeah. so to speak. It's good to have that feather in your cap. Okay, so so what is it about country music? Because I, I seem to think that people are really digging it these days. Yeah. Like they're really getting into it more and more and more. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, you have the legends from years back, mm -hmm. but now it just seems like it's more. It's modern. Everybody seems to be into it. Yeah, it is. It's growing so much. It's so huge, and it just... Uh, appeals to such a larger audience now I would say I think so um, the demographics have changed and you know so that's that's what we're excited about with our new album is that you know we've d diversified and we have grown as well and you know our sound keeps evolving and, and we we really feel with this album we've honed it in on on what our sound is mm -hmm. and and yeah it's appealing to lots and lots of people and I think country music in general has just done that there's so mm. much out there and so mm. many different sounds and it's, it's cool to be a part uh, of it. So many of the songs are so relatable mm -hmm. yes, by, by a universal audience so I mean mm. it's uh, and some of the new artists that are making the, the country music a little bit different have appealed to people who maybe never listened to country before mm -hmm. and now they're on yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's not that. And it seems that. like there's no real demographic. I mean, it's just it's yeah. youth, it's it's older people. Yeah. Like yeah. Everybody's just into country music. Absolutely. Right. Well, we are happy to have you here all the way from Alberta. Thank you so much. Congratulations on the new album and Thank all the, uh, the festival stops that you've got throughout the summer months. Yeah. Renegade Station, I'm sure we'll hear even more from you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Future. Appreciate the rebrand is on. And yeah. And you're doing well. <laughs> Good start. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. More daytime coming up in moments right here on Rogers TV. Don't go anywhere.